Now, I've got to show you something that the ABC's been pumping out. They've been pumping out all this queer TV stuff lately. Uh, again, we uh, preach tolerance, diversity, acceptance for all sorts of people. Uh, that, that, that's, you know, live and let live is surely what we should be thinking. But the ABC seems to want to promote this stuff all the time. Have a look at the latest. I'm non-binary, I am queer, my pronouns are she, her. I'm ethically non-monogamous and I have a partner in an open polyamorous situation. Labels are complicated. Um, we need them, but we hate them. Being queer or being pansexual, they're really great ways to help me identify myself. I know where my spaces are and, yeah, who my people are. How about just I'm a human and you don't need to know everything else about me except whether I'm entering the men's or the women's competition, Caroline? Totally. And I remember the bad old days when sex was something you did, not something you just talked about endlessly on national television. Um, I'm, I'm just a bit bored by it. I'm bored by it. Look, if people can do whatever they like. You know, I, I have absolutely... I have absolutely no issue with that. I'm totally live and let live on these sorts of things. I did really like uh, that shade of lipstick, though, because that is definitely something that I would wear. <laughs> um, but apart from that, why, why is the ABC talking about this? Why they is can't the ABC shut up about talking it. About this? They're How? obsessed with it. They just can't. They just mm. can't. They just can't. It's one of those bubble issues. It's it's part of it's part of that thing where they're all talking to the same people about yeah. the same thing, and the rest of us are just sitting here wondering why we're paying for it.